everybody. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. <laughs> now, anytime I talk about Donald Trump, I know it ruffles a whole bunch of people's feathers. Myself, personally, I'm a conservative Christian. I don't side with Republicans or Democrats. I evaluate everyone based on the fruit of the Spirit. And from this video I did back in January 2017 all the way up through now, I still do not see Donald bearing the fruit of the Spirit. In fact, in this video, and if you haven't watched it, it is linked in the top right corner of the YouTube screen. Publicly, he has, at least on two occasions, said that he's never asked God for forgiveness. Rather, he just tries to do a better job himself. He doesn't understand the idea of repentance. He doesn't understand the idea of submission. Now, I do love everything that Donald's doing as president from a worldly sense. I love the fact that he's securing the borders. I love the fact that he's focusing more on America. I love the fact that he wants to take down the Federal Reserve and all these other things. But I also understand that there's this principle of ordo ab chao, ordo, order out of chaos. And whether we like it or not, the current world order is centered around America with the American dollar being the world's reserve currency and America being basically a strategic geopolitical nation that is sort of a glue that is holding everything up today. And so we have to understand that when we start retracting America back from the world, it is going to cause chaos, and we know exactly what ensues after that. Now, I do want to talk about Paula White, who is Donald Trump's spiritual advisor. She is actually the person that is claimed to have led Donald Trump to Christ. Now, she is currently his spiritual advisor. She's currently mentoring him. So I think it's good that we take a look at what type of person she is and what she says about Christianity and her beliefs. According to Hebrews, that Jesus is our high priest. Absolutely. And he's the first of many brethren, which means I now come into a priestly anointing. So I now can... S say that again, because I they now, don't get it. I now come into a priestly anointing. Jesus is not the only begotten on. Son of God. He is not. I'm a Son of he's God. He's the first fruit. If you've, you're the, he's the first fruit. He's the first born of many. Anointing. Jesus is... Now, mind you, this is the woman that led Donald Trump to Christ and is currently leading him. That ties into our last video on the head coverings and headship and authority. And so you see that there's something wrong with that as well. But she says that Jesus is not the only begotten son. Have you not read one of the most popular verses in the Bible, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so for paula to say something this extreme is blasphemous it really is and i'll show you why and mind you she is the one that is a spiritual leader or mentor of trump now there are verses which say that believers in christ jesus are sons of god like this one in romans 8:14. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. But perhaps she should have kept on reading. Because the next verse says, For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. We are adopted sons. Jesus Christ is the only Son begotten of the Father. That is a title unto himself. So when she and this individual say that he is not the only begotten son of God and that they are sons of God, they are bringing Christ down. She said specifically, he's just the first fruit of many sons. So now she's essentially saying that her and this other individual and all other believers in Christ are at the same level of Christ. And he's just the first of many, even in Hebrews 1. It says, For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you? Or again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son? No, he's never said that to any other angel, to no other man. Jesus is the only begotten son of the father. So, I mean, I gotta tell you folks, yeah, I like everything he's doing in terms of the presidency, and in terms of worldly things, but don't let that completely cloud your judgment your Christian judgment. Now, just like everyone else, we are to pray for him. But too frequently, I see Christians clamoring over him, saying that he's going to restore Christian values, much like Israel, who put his face alongside of a coin with King Cyrus. It really disturbs me, especially when 
He has not asked God for repentance, which is publicly on record several years ago. He is currently surrounding himself with spiritual advisors that are indeed false teachers. He's not bearing the fruit of the Spirit. It all is very concerning to me, considering the times that we're in, and the fact that there will be a mystery Babylon, which is a false religion. You can see very easily how the promotion of a restorative Christianity led by false teachers is not a good one. So, yes, <laughs> really good things coming out of the Trump administration in terms of like worldly things and government and policies and things like that. Um, but we have to understand the times that we're in. We have to have spiritual discernment. And I'll tell you what, my antenna is just like flying off the radar right now with everything I'm seeing about him and who he surrounds himself with. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. God bless everybody.